Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all having a great day and if you're new to the channel, want to hit the subscribe button too, that would help me out immensely. Today, don't have a whole lot planned, honestly, I just wanted to film my day. Right now, I am getting the skyline ready for our alignment at In Customs. As you saw in the last two videos, I recently installed the GK Tech rear lower control arms and also the rear traction arms. So my alignment is somewhat out of whack. I did a nice eyeball alignment um, last week and I think I've matched up pretty well to the specs I had before. But again, the laser is significantly better than these eyes. Also, I never got the skyline aligned once I put the 18s on, transitioned from the 17 GTR wheels to the Work T7Rs and Kiwamis that are 18. So I think my stock alignment changed a little bit, but Tyler does great work and I cannot wait to get this fitment dialed in. Also, Ben wants to take photos of the skyline. He picked up a new lens and we really haven't did any high quality photos yet since we got the BN Sports kit back and the D-Max roof and trunk wings, which are still hanging on and I'm incredibly grateful. Again, in the last video we used like 30 to $40 worth of mounting tape, so hopefully these never come off. Like I mentioned, I've only been using iPhone pictures on my Instagram with the BN kit and again, thank you everybody so much for all the love and the hype on the car. I like to think I executed this style near perfectly and it's honestly this build is coming to an end here within the next two months kits done now it's time to work on our turbo setup i've been watching some videos that sam did the australian who's living in japan and we are kind of going to be running the say similar turbo setup i will be running again the gtx 3021r with all the 800 cc injectors and all the tomi goodies and fuel pump and I will also be running map like I always mention in each video I just got my air temperature sensor in the other day so once all said and done everything's tuned the Skyline should honestly be making around 300 to 320 wheel just made it to Eden Customs a little bit early take my time cruising it's been a great day it's almost summer though and I'm not looking forward to this Arizona heat but let's go meet the boys and see if we can hang out in the back. Just got the skyline aligned. Sorry I didn't film a lot of it. We were about almost three hours in. All the suspension arms were fighting us as well as the machine, but we got it all nice and dialed in. When I get home, we will go over the alignment specs, but we did add a little bit more camber in the rear so we can tuck the wheel if we ever go under load. But Eden Customs, Tyler did a great job. Just made it back home. Skyline is running and driving amazing. Especially during the day, it was a consistent say, well the high was like 86 degrees today and the Skyline was running amazing. Temperatures were good, oil levels were good. The ATP catch can definitely made a huge improvement on how the RB runs. The BOV is now broken in and makes it sings and I cannot be any more grateful that it's on. Alignment is nice and dialed in. Tyler and I spent a good two and a half to three hours making sure everything was perfect. We altered the rear, so it altered the front, and then we altered the front, and then we which altered the rear. So we we're kind of battling that for a good hour and a half. We played with caster a lot because I didn't go to the shop with the front bumper on because I don't want to scratch it or anything. So I didn't know how much caster was needed to have clearance on the bumper, but I think we're sitting at like 7.3 or five degrees, which I have adequate clearance from the bumper and also to the side skirts at full lock. But again, Skyline is running great. I did add a little bit of camber in the rear to compensate for load, so once the car's under load, it'll camber in a little bit more, thus clearing the wheel. Turning a lot of heads too, a lot of old people looking at me like, what am I doing? Always a good time driving the Skyline. Going over the alignment specs real quick. Here's the before front. The before rear, which is way out of line. Look at that, it's crazy. 
And then after our two and a half hours of adjustments, the front is dialed in. A little bit more degree of caster to compensate for my ass when I'm driving. The rear we got perfect. When I get new wheels and I go with a higher offset, I'm going to definitely zero out the camber or put like one or two degrees negative. And then we got our toe and thrust angle, perfect. Also going to be running new oil. I currently use AMS oil, 10W30, full synthetic. Now I'm gonna be switching over to Liquid Molly 5W40. It is newer technology oil and they are always improving. The boys at Deacon Customs swear by this oil and a handful of my friends use this as well. And they notice a significant difference in oil temperature and how the motor runs. So incredibly stoked to try this out. Just woke up from a nap. Let's go ahead and warm up the skyline and we'll go ahead and piece the kit in the cul-de-sac. First time everything is together on the street. Are you ready? Ben's back, let's go! Dude, Skyline is looking great, god damn. Nothing hits, nothing creaks, so that's a plus. Always a pleasure seeing the Unicorn CRV as well. Penny board on the loose. Guys, we are at the first shooting spot of the Skyline when I first got it back in November 2019. Actually, here is where I want to do my how much did it cost video. But guys, it's so, so nostalgic. Scon has definitely come a long way from stock. Got it from RC Specialties for 17 grand, just on a Mines ECU, R33 GTR wheels, and KTS V2 coilovers. Now I'm about $31,000 into parts, and I've literally touched every nut and bolt on this chassis. And thank you everybody again for the continuous support. school travel around so we're pretty much done with photos thank you to Ben now we're gonna play around with the DJI this thing shoots at some pretty amazing quality it might swap over in the very near future but again the skyline is looking so good do it for the gram remember that trend We are back home, had such a great time with them. Certified bangers on those photos and I think we're gonna break the internet again with the skyline. So follow me on Instagram, Arson's Dream, to see all of the amazing photos Ben does and also follow Ben at Tickle Me Bean. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, inspecting the damage on the kit. No damage really, just a bunch of like, pollen and bugs on the bumper in terms of the side skirts everything seems to be okay in the rear here actually um there it is so this is the driver's side i am rubbing ever so slightly on it at full lock so i'm gonna have to hit this with some touch-up paint and then find some clear wrap and just hit the front side of each of the skirt because that little chip probably cost me like 10 bucks in terms of John's paintwork, but other than that, kit is good. The guards are good too. It's just really dusty out where we are. It's like farmland. So on my next free day, I'm gonna give the Skyline a deep clean on the interior, exterior, and also the engine bay. But that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video, guys. Thank you so very much for all the continuous love and support. Stay tuned for more content. Please hit the subscribe button too. It helps me out a lot. My goal is definitely 10K by the end of this year, and I know I can do it. I have a little bit more content to 
produce with the Skyline before the turbo. I think next I'm going to be actually doing the remaining of the hike is delete and also install my tough motor mounts. And then I'll go ahead and jump into the turbo build. Have to make some calls this week to get everything situated in terms of borrowing my truck, a trailer and installing Triple hit. But thank you everybody again for the continuous love and support. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button too. That'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch you next video. Take care.